This is a triceratops tooth. This is also a triceratops tooth. If they both are triceratops teeth, why do they look so different? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Paleostoric, and today we have quite the puzzle, a mystery. The mystery of the mismatched triceratops teeth. Now, I'm sure all of you are aware of the triceratops being one of the most iconic dinosaurs in the world. Probably second in popularity to the T-Rex. Triceratops means three-horned face, a name fitting for its infamous three horns. These two teeth come from the Hell Creek Formation in Montana and date back to the late Cretaceous, around 80 million years ago. In the Hell Creek Formation, Triceratops teeth are one of the more common fossils for several reasons. One reason was that Triceratops was a herding dinosaur. You can think of Triceratops as sort of the bison of the prehistoric. They live in herds, and there are a lot of them in a given area. Also, Triceratops had a lot of teeth. At any given point in time, Triceratops could have up to 800 teeth. As Triceratops lost their teeth throughout their lifetime, new teeth would constantly replace the lost ones. And in general, teeth are sturdier than bones, so they can fossilize more easily. Now that you know a bit more about Triceratops and their teeth, let's dive into this mystery. If we compare these two teeth, this one looks very blocky and is shorter than this one. This larger one also has these sort of two protuberances here. And if we look here at this area and this area, we can see that these divots kind of have this sort of similarity. Also back here with these two kind of sort of linear lines here. That's kind of interesting. I wonder what these differences and similarities tell us about these two teeth and how they can help us in solving this mystery. Well, let's go back to this tooth here. These two structures are actually the root of this Triceratops tooth crown. The crown being the part of the tooth that is visible and exposed to the food and the outside. This double root would actually be underneath the bone, anchoring the tooth to the jaw. So if my two fingers here were the jaw, this tooth would sit kind of like this, with this crown being exposed and the two structures being underneath the root. Therefore, this tooth can actually be thought of as a brand new tooth. These roots are quite delicate structures, so it's not very common to find rooted Triceratops teeth like this. The Triceratops would have actually had to die with this tooth fossilizing as a skull broke apart since the skull of any dinosaur rarely ever fully fossilizes whole. So, what about this tooth? Well, this tooth is pretty much the exact opposite. This is a tooth that has been used, worn down, and shed from the Triceratops mouth. A lost, discarded tooth. You can see this surface here, which was used to grind all that food. These are referred to as spitters. That is why these structures match up. You can just see how worn down this tooth is compared to this rooted tooth. And that's why these in particular are one of the more common fossils from the Hell Creek Formation, as Triceratops constantly used and shed its many teeth. So, mystery solved. These teeth are just different stages in this sort of Triceratops tooth life cycle. On to the next mystery. Thank you all so much for watching, and please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell to help support this channel. Happy fossils!